In this video, we're taking a look at another one of our Apple AUV3 plugins right here in GarageBand on the iPhone or the iPad. This time, it is the very cool Reverb 2 plugin. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And yes, we are back here in GarageBand once again because we're looking at another one of these great free Apple AUV3 plugins. And the only thing better than Reverb 1 is, of course, Reverb 2. So that is what we're going to be looking at in this video. Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, I know what you may be thinking, Pete. We already have reverb right here in the master effects. We can dial it in there and we can choose what type of reverb we want. Not only that, but we have another reverb plugin. We have our track reverb that we can add in here by scrolling down and adding track reverb. So why on earth would we need a third reverb here in GarageBand? Well, because three is better than two. That's the only excuse I have. But no, the reverb two audio unit plugin is kind of cool. It has some cool presets and let's dive in and show you them now. So here we are, we're in GarageBand, we've got a five track groove, let's take a listen to it. It's sounding pretty cool, yeah, but we want to add some reverb to soften up some of these tracks. Let's start with these drums because these are okay, but if we take a listen to them in solo, here's what they sound like. Now, I don't mind that kind of snare sound, but I want to go like super 80s. So let's like add some reverb to the max. So I'm going to tap on my mixer icon here. We're going to go plugins and EQ. We're going to tap edit, and then we're going to hit the big plus button down here and go audio unit extensions. And we're going to scroll down to the reverb 2 plugin here. Now, the reverb 2 is a bit different from all the other ones because I've played around with all of these. I've played around with all these different settings and no matter what I do, it doesn't seem to change much. However, what I have found is that if we adjust this preset in the bottom left corner, we can actually dial it in here and then dial up the dry wet mix and get some cool sounds. So maybe your mileage will vary. Maybe you can play with these and get some better sounds. But what I love using this for is just giving myself a really cool reverb sound here. So let's just go a bit nuts. Let's go with like a uh, large hall number two here. So if we bring the large hall number two, if we hit play now, there's no difference, right? But as we dial up this dry wet mix, we're going to hear a bunch of difference. Let's put it up to like 20%. Right, and if we actually take this up like, you know, 50% here, let's take a listen. It starts sounding quite terrible, so you don't want that much in there. But if we just give it a little bit of a subtle feel, it can really give us some cool reverb sounds. And we can play around with these. Like, say we wanted to go to like our large chamber sound for a different kind of sound. Let's take a listen to that. It gives us a bit of a flatter kind of reverb, and we can even go to like a plate reverb. Let's just dial it up a little bit and take a listen to our plate reverb sound. Like, that's pretty intense, probably too intense for drums, but if we dial it down to maybe 10% on that plate reverb, 12% will do. That's pretty cool, yeah. Anyway, we'll go back. Let's go more to maybe the medium hall here and dial it up to about 20% and take a listen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the sort of thing that we want there. So we'll unsolo that one. Now, the other thing that I wanted to soften up a bit here is this 80s sync lead. So if we take a listen to this right now. So it's a pretty cool synth sound, very 80s, very cool. But what I want to do is come in here. We're going to add in our Reverb 2 plugin. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find Reverb 2. And now if we come in here, again, we'll dial up this dry wet mix. Let's come back in here. I forgot what we used before, but let's just say we used the large hall. Now let's take a listen to this one here. And we can add in a bunch of, like if we put like up to about 50% reverb on something like this, you get a very different sound. Let's take a look, listen to the difference here. If we have it without the reverb, it sounds like this. 
Lots of attack, not much atmosphere. Let's turn the reverb on. It softens up that attack here and it gives us more atmosphere. And if we bring these together here now, it's going to sit much nicer in the rest of our mix. Let's bring the whole mix back in together now and take a listen. I don't know about you, but I like the sound of that. Let's turn it off here, and we'll come to this one and turn it off. Here's the original sound. To me, that's just a little bit too harsh. If we turn on the reverb here on these two tracks, now let's take a listen. I think especially if you're going to add vocals over the top of this, this just really helps soften it up. And again, I could go through and add this to our other instruments as well to get that same sort of reverb sound and bring everything into the same space. Because that's a good thing you can do with a reverb plugin is that if you use the same thing here, so if you put all of them in a large hall, then suddenly everything sounds like it's in that same large hall. And th there we go, that one's already in a large hall. Do we have this one on here as well? Yep, we are in a small room there if we go to large hall we bring them all into the same environment and it just adds a little bit more atmosphere to our sound so there you go the reverb 2 plug-in maybe it's not the most useful again i don't think changing any of these does a whole lot to your sound but if you dial in the presets here it gives you a bunch of additional options here and yes if two reverbs are not enough here in GarageBand and you want a third one you can try this one out for yourself i hope you found this useful there's two more videos linked down below if you want some more you can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the studio live today icon and I'll see you next time.